Hi guys, I got a super quick video for you today. I made these Brother Style trousers from the February 2016 issue and they're style number 116. They're these high-waisted trousers that remind me very much of the Taligila, the pants that are worn by Spanish bullfighters in the ring. They sit a lot higher than where my natural waist is and because of how tight they are, I do recommend that you use a stretch fabric with these but I do love how they turned out and I definitely think that I will try them in scuba next time they have an elegant cut and they create a tapered look trousers that is reminiscent of the Audrey Hepburn circa 1950s look um, so in terms of the waist itself I thought that the fit was pretty spot on however Coming over the bum, there was a bit of gaping. And if you look on those seams at the back, I had to take them in about a quarter of an inch on those two side seams just to reduce the gaping. But those were the only alterations that I made to it. And you can see it's faced by the same fabric and I had to hand sew it down because I didn't want any top stitching on that lovely eye cut fabric. Okay, so let's talk about the fabric, okay? So this iCut print was bought from a shop that was closing down. So I got it dead cheap. I think it was a silly price, like one pound per meter. I put in an invisible zipper. The zipper is designed to be on the side seam. So I was very happy with that because I like my trouser zips to be on the side seam. And I confess that I was a little bit precious about this fabric because it has been in my collection for nearly four years now. And a tiny voice inside my head was kind of saying, oh, is this going to be too much? But then the other voice in my head was like as if that's ever stopped me before. <laughs> so I decided to cut into it anyway. And boy, am I glad I did. Did. I suddenly feel incredibly jazzy in this and also dressy. The fabric has at least 5% stretch and you need that to create that lovely sculpted look. So definitely if you're going to make these, pick a fabric that has some stretch to it, at least 5% in my humble opinion. I am definitely picturing a winter version of this with a roll neck in a darker color. I'm thinking maybe navy. So pro tip... If you're going to make these trousers, please do make sure that you mark those waist yoke pieces. You, you have about eight yoke pattern pieces and you can get muddled up like I did. The cons are that it doesn't have any pockets. I considered adding pockets, but I just could not see where they would work with the design lines. And it was just one of those where I was just like, normally I go for pockets. But I'm okay with this with this particular trousers not having any pockets. So that's it, guys. I really hope that you've enjoyed this quick video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, then please do subscribe for new sewing related videos every single week. Until I see you next time, happy sewing. Bye.